Hi everybody, so I'm gonna talk about how to create a positive classroom environment. So I'm an ESL teacher, but these tips could apply basically to any situation in which you're teaching. And so the first one is positive reinforcement versus negative reinforcement. So I try to focus on the positive things that students are doing. For example, you work so well together. Oh, your handwriting is so neat. You were really helpful to your classmate. I heard that you were very kind. Instead of don't do that, sit down, be quiet, all those things. So I like to focus on the positive. Okay, the next thing is a reward system. So this is a little bit tricky. And like, what should the motivation for students be? Should it be to get a little candy at the end of class or should it be to actually learn something? However, reward systems do certainly have a place in the classroom. So I would often do this for children if I'm teaching them like, for example, over a summer or winter camp. And I would kind of give them little points for good behavior, for like a really good performance um, on a little activity that we did. And even just for being like a very nice person, for example, like picking up some trash without me asking them or just like being very quiet when everyone else is being kind of rowdy, they're just sitting waiting for class to start, I would give them a point. And then at the end of the week, um, the person with the most points would get a first pick a prize, but then everybody would end up getting a prize in the end. All right, the next one is create interesting lessons. Choose topics that students are interested in, <laughs> of course. If uh, you're choosing topics that students are not interested in, you will not have a positive classroom environment. People will be kind of negative and just kind of uninspired to talk about or to discuss whatever the topic of the day is. And the second part of it is to choose interesting activities. So nobody likes doing the same thing over and over and over again. So yeah, choose a, a variety of activities and games to use in your class. All right, the next thing to create a positive classroom environment is to make your expectations very clear. If students aren't really sure what you expect from them, how can they live up to those expectations? So set your expectations high and then enforce them. I don't mean enforce them in kind of like a mean, angry way, but just remind students of what you expect. Oh yeah, please put your cell phone in your pocket. Remember, we don't use cell phones in our class. Or, oh yeah, please come on time. Remember that we start class on time. All right, the next one is pay attention to the physical environment in your classroom. If people are too hot or too cold or sitting next to someone they hate, they're not gonna like your class. So have a comfortable environment and do all that you can to ensure that people are interacting and talking with people that they actually like and people that they get along with because that will go a long way to creating a better environment in your class. All right, the next tip is to enlist troublemakers. So I don't like to give the troublemakers in my class negative um, attention. It just kind of feeds into it a little bit, I think, and then they end up doing worse things in the end if I'm always paying attention to their negative behavior. So instead, I generally will get them to sit in the front row and then I'll say, oh, Bob, yeah, please hand out these papers. Oh, Bob, can you do attendance today? And kind of make them my go-to person for helping me do simple tasks in class because then they feel like they have a value in class besides just like antagonizing me. They'll think, oh, like she actually likes me. My teacher likes me and like wants me to help her. And finally, ask students for feedback. So this can kind of happen throughout the semester. And then I also do it at the end of the semester in order to improve my classes um, in the future. So I will often ask students, um, maybe just on the midterm exam or the final exam, what their favorite part of the class was and what was one thing that they didn't really like about the class. And you can either do it on your exam just for no points or else I'll just give one point as long as you answer like literally anything on that question. Or you can do little anonymous pieces of paper. And um, yeah, the answers have been quite interesting. It's, it's like kind of unexpected sometimes what students remember and what students liked and then things that they didn't like. So some activities that I think went really well, students actually hated it. And so in that case, I wouldn't really do that again in the future. But there were some like kind of just little activities or whatever that I thought were not that interesting or fun and students actually remembered them and found them very helpful. So ask for feedback from your students and then always try to improve your classes. All right, so those are my top 10 tips for creating a positive classroom environment. If you have any ideas or any tips of your own, please leave a comment below and I will catch you next time. Bye everybody.